Now let's make the layout component and create a panel for register and this login component. Let me close this register file and let's create the layout component right inside my project right here in the root directory. I'm going to create a new folder with the name layout and inside this layout folder, I'm going to create a new file with the name layout.js. Now that's upon you. You can specify any name to this file inside this file. I'm going to create a default export function. So I'm going to say here export default function. The function name is layout and I'm going to return a simple division tag with h1 heading tag layout. Save this file and if you back to the Telvin config.js then you can notice we specify here layout folder so we can use Telvin CSS styling inside this folder. Make sure you specify the same name to this folder. If you have a different name to this folder then change this statement. Now once you've done that back to the login.js and right up here I'm going to import this layout. So I'm going to say here import layout from the layout layout file and I'm going to grab this layout and then replace this with this div. I'm going to put this layout as a wrapper to this login. Let me save the changes and show you the result. When I open the login route, I'm going to have layout as a response. This is because we have this h1 heading tag inside this layout. But what I want, I also want to print this children's as well. So to this layout, we specify an object and call here children, the property. And just out of this layout, now I can specify here children, something like this. Back to the project and you can see now I'm going to have layout as well as the layout children. Now just out of that, instead of this h1, here I'm going to create a div and specify some Telvin classes here. So specify here class names. First, I'm going to specify flex. H is going to be screen. So the flex is going to specify display flex to this division tag and H screen is going to specify height. 100 vertical height to this div. Just out of that, I'm going to use here BG blue 400. This statement is going to specify background color to this division tag. Now, these all are the Telvin classes. You don't have to create any CSS if you are using Telvin. You have to just stick with your HTML. Just out of that, here I'm going to create another div and then to this div, we specify some classes. First, I'm going to specify here M auto. This is going to specify margin auto. To this division tag you can see just out of that here i'm going to say bg sled 50. this will specify background color to this div then i'm going to specify rounded md this will specify border radius to this division tag and then i'm going to specify width 3 by 5. this is going to specify width 60 percent to this div after that i'm going to specify height which is going to be 3 by 5 four so this will specify height 75 percent to this panel and then i'm going to specify here grid and lg grid calls two so this is going to initialize this div as grid layout and this class is going to say if the minimum width of the viewport is greater than 1024 pixel then specify two column layout to this division tag otherwise add only one column just out that inside this div right here I'm going to add two division tags. This is going to be the first div and this is the second div. Inside the first div, I'm going to have my images. And inside the second div, right here, I'm going to have my title. So let me first add title here. So let me first add here class names. So I'm going to say here, right, flex, flex call. Now the flex call is going to specify flex direction column to this flex box. Then I'm going to specify here, justify evenly. Now this statement is going to specify justify content space evenly to all the content of this div. And just out of that inside this div, I'm going to add another div and add my children's here. So I'm going to grab this children's right from here and then specify that inside this div. And to this div, we specify some Telvin classes. So I'm going to specify here text center and padding by 10. So this statement is going to specify top and bottom padding to this division tag. So it's going to specify 2.5 RAM means 40 pixel to this division tag. And now when I save the changes and when I back to the project, I'm going to have the result something like this. Here I'm going to have two columns. The first column is for images and the second column is for the login and for the register component. So let's suppose if I specify here background color, BG gray 500, save this file, then you can notice we have here two columns. First for the images and second for the login component. We are also going to use the same panel 
for the register component. So right inside this first column, I'm going to add an image and add some live effect to it. So the image looks like the live image. So I'm going to back to my files and I'm going to copy all these images, create a new folder inside this public folder right here. I'm going to create a new folder, name this folder assets. And inside this assets, I'm going to put all these images, something like this. Don't worry, you can download all these images from this 0 to layout component branch. What you have to do is you have to clone this project, then enter into the project directory using cd auth app and then execute a command called git switch 0 2 and press tab. This is going to automatically add the layout component and press enter. When you press enter, you are in the layout component branch and then you can download all these images from this public folder right from here.